Hello, I'm Adam Hennigy with NetVantage Marketing, and today I'm going to walk you through the Domain Hunter Plus Google Chrome extension. You can download it at DomainHunterPlus.com. Simply click on the Download button dead center in the middle of the page and click Continue to continue your download. I already have it installed, so I'll simply discard. Once you have it installed, you can actually find the plugin in the upper right hand corner of your browser window. It's this green little crosshair logo here, and I'll give you a quick walkthrough of how this works. So basically this tool is built for two audiences. Number one, the person hunting for quality domains that already have inbound links. And number two, for link builders out there who use broken link building as a technique for building links. So this page here is a directory of Michigan real estate. So there's a handful of agents down here and uh, other useful links for people looking for real estate in Michigan. So if I were starting a real estate site in the state of Michigan, I might try to buy a domain that uh, actually had some juice pointing into it from a handful of links from a site that no longer exists. So let's give this thing a quick run here and just click on the logo to start the scan. And this will go through all of the outbound links on this page. There's 105 of them as the tool is now telling us. And it will look for error statuses. So if this page links out to a page that's uh, returning a 404, for example, a page that's moved, it's gonna tell you that that's a broken link. Um, it'll also tell you if a entire domain is down and if that's available. Um, this is finishing up right here, so I will click over to the finished version. Uh, depending on how fast the uh, server responses are on the other end, you uh, will have crawl times that will be extremely fast. Every once in a while, it'll take a couple seconds to finish up. But this is the final version of once the domain hunter has crawled through the site. You can see the tool returns uh, eight different dead links tell you if the domain is taken, if the domain is available, and it will also show you the number of links uh, pointing to these pages. So the first number here, so for buildingphotos.com slash news slash index, there's 11 links pointing to that specific page, and there's also 32 total links to that domain. So macombhomes.net, for example, this domain is available for purchase. It has 18 links. All of those links apparently are pointing to that page. So we have a couple of different options of things we can do here. If we want to actually go through and buy one of these available domains, we simply leave selected domains. Actually, if, if you leave these selected, it's not going to register them because they're not available. But if we want to buy all of these, we could simply click register. If you wanted specific ones, you could deselect uh, domains that you're not interested in buying and click on register. And this will take you uh, momentarily to GoDaddy. So you can actually directly purchase these. So you can see here, it took me to GoDaddy, I'd simply log in. It's got all the three domains that were available in my shopping cart, Casey Virtual Tours, MacombHomes.net, Michigan Property Search, and I could simply buy those up right now. The other option here is that if we wanted to do broken link building, so for example, I might find uh, a real estate page on here, or building photos, perfect example. Uh, if you actually go to this page, you'll find out that this is an old version of a news page that no longer exists. The domain is still up, but there's 11 sites linking to uh, news for this buildingphotos.com. So if we had a site that had uh, or catered to you know, photos of buildings or, or contractor photos, construction photos, something along those lines, uh, the 11 sites that link to the dead page would be a, a good door opener for trying to get those sites to link to us. So. If you have an SEO Moz account, uh, that's where this number comes from, from the Linkscape API. Uh, this will open uh, that uh, Open Site Explorer for that specific page. So uh, click on that link, and we can see, according to the Linkscape API, the 11 links that we have coming into this page. So again, if I had a construction page that was similar to these, I could track down the webmaster for these sites, contact them, tell them they have a broken link, and then start the conversation, potentially doing something useful for them. Hopefully they'll reciprocate and link back to our site. So as far as lo broken link building goes, this is an excellent tool for that. Um, you also have the option when you're using this to export. So if you go through a handful of different sites and you want to do some more research, or if you're looking for domains and you just want to stockpile a whole bunch of them and potentially purchase them later, you also have the option to export. So by leaving these all selected, uh, I can export this to a CSV file, and in a second, it will crank out all the information. It'll give me the domain, whether it's available or not, the number of links to the page, and the number of links to the domain. So I can create a handful of spreadsheets, combine those. If I was looking for domains or if I was doing broken link building, I could continue exporting these and build a 
pretty substantial catalog of sites that I could use uh, for broken link targeting. So that's a quick run through of the Domain Hunter Plus Chrome extension. And if you have further feedback, please check out the Domain Hunter Plus website and feel free to contact us. Thank you.